Carlton's Travel Adventures. Go get your passport. So what's what's up? The Carlton, the Carlton Travel Adventures. That's in from Exito again. This is my day. Once every couple of days, man. So I was last Thursday. Today's Friday. Okay. What, 22nd and 23rd? Anyway. Um, <laughs> I noticed a big... The reason I'm doing this... I noticed a big change in Exito today. When I went there in the past, including last Thursday when I went, they had the people out there with the table taking your uh, information, taking your cellular number, recording you, all this stuff, right? But today, for the first time, the table was gone. The table was gone. All it has a lady there, took my temperature, and said, go in. That's it. That's a good sign. That's a sign they're easing up on things. That's got to be a good sign, okay? So, you know, a little hope, guys, a little hope, all right? Sounds good. Anyway, since I'm um, here, let me talk, tell you something, man. So, I told you before, I like to eat fish. I eat fish at least two, three times a week. Um, I try not to eat too, too many times because I catch it myself. Um, and I'm going to show you how expensive some of this shit is, right? All right, hold up. Yeah, so, I told you I like to eat rubolo. Rubolo or snook in Florida, all right? So, that's it. Look at what it costs, man. This Robolo cost me 39,000 pesos. You know, that's like $10 for that piece of fish. Not even that big, man. How many grams is it? 40, 450? Oh, 450 grams. Not that big. That's two dinners, but it's $10, bro. That's a lot for here. That's why I went, if I moved to the coast, Cartagena, get fish really, really cheap. And I also, you know, I ate my rotisserie chicken. I got to have that. Just convenience, you know, some other stuff, my fruits, watermelon, all that stuff. Anyway, let me go. I got to go downtown now, try to buy some slippers. I, I have one pair. I, and sometimes when I go to the uh, front door, I, I wear it. So I, I like to have two or three pairs, all right? Talk to you later. Okay, so one thing I want to talk to you about real quick. I don't like about these rotisserie chicken. First, I mean, that's not my first choice because it's kind of salty the way the process is. But, you know, it's convenient, right? So it comes with all this stuff in here, right? all these potatoes. And unfortunately, I just don't eat them, right? They're cold. I just don't like these potatoes. And I throw them out. And this arepas, I don't eat them, don't like them. So I end up throwing them all out, which I feel real bad about, you know? I throw them all out. Next thing I do is I take the chicken out of the plastic bag. That's the worst thing in the world. So you got a, a chicken and... Probably put it in a, when it was hot, you know, put it in a plastic, plastic, and heat. Don't like it. So I take the, the plastic out. So now I got chicken here for a, feel a little safer. My first choice is to cook my own chicken, but sometimes, you know, it's convenience. I got to eat some, something real quick and go downtown. So uh, I get a rotisserie chicken. It's just not fried, all right? So let me hit something real quick and head downtown, all right? What I do like to eat it with, and I eat almost every morning when I cook uh, eggs instead of using bread, I use these right here. These tortilla shells, they're softer and they're good. Okay? They are nice. I love them. I got two or three of them right now. All right, so you know a little about my life, all right? Let me go. Downtown, checking out the place. Look, doing a little shopping. Looking for some slippers, but they can't find them, man. All they got small slippers for it. People with small feet. Columbia's has small feet, I guess. I can't find a 46. When I bought from the States, getting kind of a, I want to wear it up, outside and inside, so I'm looking for another one, but I just can't find it anywhere. All the men's shoes I got, slippers I got, are so small, man, I can't fit my foot. Columbia's got small feet. So I got to keep trying, but I doubt I'll find one. Let's bring one from the States. What's, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? I'm downtown here shopping. The best way to get downtown is that bicycle, man. I'm telling you, that's the best thing. Come down here, drop it off, go shopping, pick another one up, go back home. So I got a genuine, original Adidas hat for 10,000 pesos. Real cool. Original, made in Colombia. <laughs> got a bunch of other stuff. When I get home, I show it. I don't want to open it right now. But another slippers probably don't fit me, but I bought it anyway, 15,000 pesos. And a bunch of other stuff. Let me head back to the crib. I'll show you what I got, okay? Bunch of little stuff, knickknacks. 
Uh, good way to come down here. This bike is great, man. I'm gonna head back to the crib, all right? And go out later for exercise. Talk to y'all later. Yeah, yeah, so heading back home. I gotta say one thing, man. You all know that the US just gave Colombia $12 billion, right? That's great, man, love it. Let's give them ventilators before. But next time a Colombian tells you, if you don't like everything about our country, everything about our country, go to fuck home. What you gotta say to them? You're welcome. That's it. That's it, you're welcome, that's it. What that is? That is a famous building. It's called a smart building. This smart building. Or the intelligent building, one of the two. We need to go inside it and check it out. I expected a lot of shit in there. When I went in there to see it, I expected all kind of technology and stuff, but it wasn't, just a regular building. <laughs> but it's called a smart building or an intelligent building, one or two. Kind of neat building. In the country, beautiful. Nice, isn't it? Okay. Return this bad boy for free. back in the crib let's see what I got today in El Centro all right all right check this out real quick okay so let's see what I got today in El Centro a lot of stuff Japanese made it's, you know this stuff works though okay so I'm looking for a new pair of slippers got this one I wear it upstairs in the, in the house and also when I when I go downstairs for a rapi or some talk to, let somebody in I wear the same thing so I don't like the idea most time I gotta wash it when I come back up in the shower. So I got this one here. I know I paid too much for it, but I said I don't care. You know, I'm not wearing it every day. Um, so this is 15,000 pesos. Uh, I know I overpaid for it, probably, but it's okay. It's all good. It fits. Narrow, very narrow, but it fits, okay? That's four dollars. It's not too bad. Four bucks, I can handle that, all right? And I have a choice of this one or that one. Okay, so got a new hat. 
I think I got two right there. My third one, I'm not sure if it's a COVID price or a different quality. This only cost me 10,000 pesos, okay? That wasn't too bad. So I saw it. I paid, for those over there, I paid like 25 or 27,000 pesos. And this was 10. So I bought it, 270. 270, you can't beat that, right? 270, not bad. So mangoes, this guy had, he was selling them by the, like the basket, a big basket full of about, I don't know, 10 or more for 5,000 pesos. I said, man, I can't carry it around. It's too much, too many. So I said, how much is for 2,000 pesos? He said, give me three. <laughs> three. I was going to bitch about it. I said, nah, I'll take the three. No big deal. You know, three, you know, that's like 54 cents, you know, 2,000 pesos. So no big deal. On all these dollar store, right? You get three razors, four razors for a dollar. Well, sorry, I mean 1,000 pesos, which is 27 cents. This is a great deal, you know? Great deal. And they work. I mean, they could not, I use them one throw them out anyway. Even the one I got from the U.S., those yellow ones are sensitive. From, I got them at Walmart. Now they're getting more and more expensive. So I, I buy them anyway and use them once. I throw them out. So for for a thousand pesos for four, psh, that's a great deal. I should have bought more, really, you know. And uh, this is always buy a thousand pesos, thousand pesos of a store. And they also have this same thing. This is a triple razor. A thousand pesos for one of those. Thousand, pe thousand pesos. Shoe lace. We don't need them, but the reason is that the reason I bought them is for my. Uh, Glasses, twice it almost fell. Well, more than once, it almost fell off my face because it's kind of loose, getting like loose here. I've had them for three years. Uh, can't get them replaced here. I got eye, eye exam. When I went to the store, eye store a few times, a uh, bunch of them. They wanted uh, like seven hundred and twenty-five dollars for new glasses. Seven twenty-five. What? Yeah, I ain't lying. You know why? Because it's. Uh, it's uh, no line bifocals. I have a hard time doing no line bifocals, but no line bifocals. It's transitional, gets real gray, anti scratch. So I want all the stuff on it, and it's 725 US dollars. Crazy. I said, now. It works still. I mean, my, my, my God, it still works. It's, it's not bad, you know? So I'm going to keep it as long as I can. Okay, so these little batteries, 1,000 pesos also, you know, some extra for the house. Need it for like a receiver or anything. And then what I get, the, okay, this one was uh, some wipes, 5,000 pesos, you know, which was, I guess, about 135 for a bunch of wipes, man. Ton, packed. See how many, how many in it? I'm going to tell you how many is in it. I don't know how many. It's a ton, though. It's a big, oh, 102? Woo! Okay, anyway. And these, why'd I get these? Am I a kid or something? You know? <laughs> I'm going to bounce them off the wall. Hit bounce my wall, boy. I'm sitting down watching TV. I'm going to mess around, hit them on the wall, and bounce back. 1,000 pesos for this, too. So that was a pretty good day. Oh, yeah, don't forget this. A patacones maker. See that? Put it there and crush it with this. So yeah, worry about using a plant and leaf uh, cover. So I just use this. Push my patacones and I put them in the oven. I mean, in a pot. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Five thousand pesos, dollar thirty-five, something like that. So I was wanted. This is not what I wanted. I wanted a real nice one, the metal one. But they only had the big one. They had the one. My boy Lonel had a real small one, really neat. I just can't find it anywhere I go. A real small one. So I said five thousand pesos, dollar thirty-five. Get it? What the hell? Okay, so that's that's my day down in the central. All right. A lot of good little stuff here, almost nothing. Best deal for me, those razors, man, I'm telling you, those razors. Man, it's a good deal. 1,000 pesos, 27 cents for four blades. Use them once, throw them out. All right, man, let me go back, wash up, and uh, get something to eat. Got to put some weight on.